So I got a question on my Discord by this person. I'm sorry, I don't know how you pronounce your name. But he basically asked me, how do I make these low poly pants? If you don't know, shout out Lord Stingray. He makes all this cool 3D art. Go check him out, really cool stuff. Today I'm gonna show y'all how I make my 3D clothing stuff. Yeah, before we get into it, I got a new Discord, you know what I'm saying? New place for creators, artists, 3D artists, musicians, whatever. If you just wanna chop it up or wanna chill out and talk to somebody, join me there. I am there because I be lonely sometimes. <laughs> Second thing, if you do not wanna make this model yourself, the model is in the description. So above links in the description. Now let's get into these pants. Now we in Blender. This is our character that we have, kind of in that low poly anime kind of style. So we're gonna start off with the pants. This is how we do the pants. Select the mesh, go on to edit modes, and then kind of just select the part that you want the pants to start. So I'm gonna go around here, all the way to the end, which is the heel. Once you got all those bits, click on the vertex points or whatever it's called. Click on those little point groups. So you can just select it like this, see if everything's in, see if everything's right. Just take off any unwanted layers. You can also cut some in, do loop cuts or just the knife cut, stuff like that. You know, it's up to you. I'm just doing this real fast. Um, so yeah, so we got this point here, boom, boom, boom. And now just make sure we got everything selected and now shift D. Shift D to duplicate, duplicate it, right click, go to separate, separate by selection. Boom. Now you have the pants as a separate layer kind of thing. So now I'm just gonna put these back. I'm gonna go onto our modifiers tab here, go add modifier and then solidify. Now we got a solidify modifier. You can see if we take it up, it does this kind of thing where it extrudes it's like almost extruding out of itself, so I kind of just go into the minus. And you can see it's already given some sort of level to the pads, some sort of thing, whatever. Just add even thickness if you want. I mean, there's so many ways you can do this, there's many tutorials, but I'm just giving y'all a quick rundown. But now we got it on solidify, go into edit mode. And out here, we can start doing more of just the adjustments with the edit modes, you know, just like that. Maybe some over here, just bring it up a little bit. Just start with the bottom first. Obviously, if you want to do it better, you go in and add the actual details and make sure things are nice. But for this video, we're just gonna make it real fast. So we're gonna just grab some of these at the back over here. There you can see our pants are kind of starting to have some shape now. Remember, this is on a separate layer. Also, you wanna make sure that everything is okay. Maybe just hide that one for now. I'm just gonna go back into object mode and just hide the armature with H just so I can have a better view at everything. So you can see we kind of already have our pants. So if you wanna go crazy with it, you can go crazy with it. If you wanna keep it like this, you can't keep it like this. Maybe let's just go into here, shift A to add something new, cube, scale it down, bring it up, bring it forward a little bit and let's scale it into why just make it a bit smaller maybe go into edit modes hit open up your little browser thing here and then you want to scroll down to loop cuts loop cuts obviously yeah i should already know what loop cuts is um if i'm going too fast i'm sorry um i don't really i'm not really the best with tutorials i'm, I'm still learning myself but i'm kind of teaching y'all some stuff that is just long or some stuff that i wish i learned sooner so anyway loop cut yeah loop cut your vertices whatever i'm gonna add two there and then i'm gonna select go back on the faces up here select this e to extrude extrude it on the i and then i'm just gonna extrude it down just a tiny bit it looks pretty peak right now but <laughs> trust me 
Okay, so now we got that. Let's go into modifiers and now let's add a solidify. No, not solidify. Let's add a subdivision surface. Subdivide it. Now we have something a bit better, but still not what I was going for. But it's cool. We can adjust. Let's go boom, boom. Bring those down a little. And then bring this one down to. Yeah, it looks something like that. Like I said, not the best, but it works. So now I just want to scale it down a little. And I'm gonna add another one, and I'm gonna shift click on the other one, copy both of these, shift D, and then X to move it on the X axis, and then I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit, and I'll just move all of them a bit back, maybe a bit less back. There you go. So, I can see we pretty much have our pants. All it really takes is just some texturing. That's where the real keys in this whole 3D thing come in. It's, it's really just a texture and I think. Um, I'm not going to be doing a texture and paint here, video here. I will save that for another video because there's some, there's many ways you can do it. So I will save that for a different video. But if we're happy with this, we just want to apply all our modifiers that we have on. Apply. 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 Do not forget this because once you export it, it won't happen. It, it, it would just be weird. So apply. We're happy with the pants. Applied everything, and now we can just, if we want, shift click on everything and then just join it together. So join, and now they're all one piece of object. But these pockets are way out, so I'm gonna just go back and I'm gonna just move them back in a little more. And then I'm going to give a different material to the pants. So call these pants one. And let's make them, let's make them like a grayish, blackish, grayish, whatever. And don't forget, turn off specular to hide all that shininess. So there you go. Maybe not this color. Let's give them some nice pants like that and now we're gonna do the same for the pocket but we're just gonna go into pants there you go and then if you want to link materials real fast click on that one click on that one shift click and then shift click on the last one that you want to link it to go up to object go to link my camera is currently in front of my computer so I can't see it um, the link and then you just want to link all the materials so right here Boom. Now we're going to change this to pocket and keep the same kind of color, but just shade it down a little bit, which just make us a little bit easier. So now we just want to shade it down like that. And now instead of just linking them, we can just do this and then go pockets. Or we can just link them how we did before, but I'm going to do it like this. But there you go. That is just a real simple video on how you make pants or clothes you can do this with everything else i will probably speed through a process of me just doing more stuff but i just wanted to give you a quick example so this is how it can be done you can obviously do it way better you can go back in it doesn't have to be like this you can go back in the pants and then with the scope mode you can actually get pieces that you like just bring them out a bit more stuff like that you know it's really it's, it's, it's not simple, but once you get the hang of it, it's simple, you know what I'm saying? So, there you go, there you go, and there you go. Looking a lot better. A lot, lot better, you got some cheeks on him though, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let me take this down, right? Uh, might have to fix this a little bit here, but that can be done. That can be done later. Yeah. So get something like this but yeah so as you can see real simple got the pants on and then you just want to just merge it to your character add an armchair and then you got everything but um i did make this video before so i will speed through a whole process real quick and just show you how i did the top and the, the rest of the stuff um i won't explain it because i forgot to record 
but yeah i hope this video helped i'm sorry if i was talking so fast i'm just trying to get this done because it's been a couple days since he asked me you know what i'm saying so let's get it out there like i said in the beginning of the video discord in the description new discord come join us also this model will be available to download if you don't want to make your own but yeah i hope this helped don't forget drop a like a follow a comment uh subscribe hope y'all have a good day and peace thank you very much for watching